Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to ASMR. Today I'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look. And I'll be speaking softly, not whispering. And I'll be making ASMR sounds. So, relax, sit down, lie comfortably. I hope that you enjoy this video. For the first step, I always take a bit of sun protection and put a little layer of it onto my skin. That's the policy I always have before I apply makeup. Just prepares my skin for going outside or being inside. It doesn't matter whether I'm in or outside, I always like to use some sun protection. It's really the best thing for the skin. This is me without any makeup on. It just has a little bit of luminosity to this, which really helps as the base of this makeup. The white balance does go a little crazy when I put my hands on the on my face during applying makeup on camera, but it'll all come together. Just a little more on the neck and under the eyes. I'm really liking my new hair colour on camera. So pleased and dyed it and I waited for the full development time this time to ensure that it is fully cool for my very cool undertone. As you can see, I'm very thorough. Always like things to be done properly, especially when it comes to skincare. As you can see, it adds just a bit of glow. I like to have the rest on my hands. Now we have the number 7 Airbrush Away Radiance Boosting Primer and this will just help to create a flawless smooth base for the makeup. Okay, let's get a few blobs onto the skin. Just spread it around. It's always best to do your makeup in your best colours. That way you can get a good idea of how much makeup you really need as opposed to wearing colours that don't really suit you that well. That's just a little 
tip for you. This just adds to the glow. Adds to the glow and it just helps the makeup just to just go on properly. Just primes the skin. And then I do the forehead and the under eyes with this and I'll get on with the coverage actually first I'll apply a bit of mascara because that can be used in a no makeup makeup look because if you choose the right mascara for your colouring then it will look natural anyway. So I'll get the mascara once I have applied the under eyes. always apply with the ring fingers you like my nails this will stop the concealer and BB cream from creasing under the eyes as well and I will look in the mirror that's down there while I apply my mascara the upper lashes first. should really curl my eyelashes but I never do. I do the lower lashes just gently. It's the thing when you wear your best colours as well you don't really need all that much makeup. Because you already kind of have makeup on with the effect of wearing colours that flatter you. It's kind of like you have makeup on already. Just gently on the lower lashes. And I will wait for that to dry just so there's no transfer as I'm applying the coverage. So I'll be back in one minute. So now I'll put my mascara away. Now I'm going to use the number seven Beauty Balm Tinted Skin Veil. This has a bit of sun protection as well, SPF 15, but it's not enough to have adequate protection, so I always apply sun protection underneath, as you have just seen. Let's get started. So I just apply a little blob of this to the right cheek first. I always start with the right cheek and then I move on to the left cheek. It just gives me a nice base. And I will apply lipstick as a blusher after this.
great that I have a mirror down there as well to look at. But the camera sometimes acts as like a mirror. Now the chin and the upper lip. It's nothing like having a flawless face. There's no look like a no makeup makeup look. Now, a little under the eyes. I'm going to use concealer anyway, but I just like to double up on the under eyes because, you know, mascara can transfer and this isn't really waterproof. This is really cheap mascara from Larvel, which you can buy in the boys' stores if you are in England. Or in the UK. The lipstick that I will use is from Larvel as well, the rose pink lipstick. That's what I'll be using at the end of this, like towards the end of this video, this little tutorial-ish. That's what I call them because, you know, I don't think I'm the tutorial type. I just like to show people what I do, if that makes sense. Just on the forehead. The only thing I don't like is putting my hair back to the right place because your hands get kind of, your fingers get kind of sticky as you do the makeup and use primers and things like that. But it's fine, it's getting better because it's all growing back from that awful haircut I had last year. I'm going to do these bits here just to make sure that there's even coverage everywhere. The other side. I'd love to have even amount of coverage. It's just so glowy and dewy. And I love that. Some on the nose, a bit on here, and after this, we use the concealer. Take some of this and apply it straight under the eyes, like a V form, and pat it in. Do you like the concealer triangle? Just add a bit of highlight so it eliminates any shadows or mascara transfer that might have happened. Just makes it look so fresh. And the upper lip. I'm also getting a nice kind of fruity smell from this for some reason. I don't know why, but it's like dessert and it's very sweet. I love sweet. And some up here. Just pat it on gently. 
have the coverage on now but I'm looking a little colourless so I'm applying the lipstick as blusher. This will look a bit viv a bit vivid but it will be okay so just put it on like that and then rub it in. Just gives me some colour because because coverage can take away colour from your face a bit of that you know natural flush that we have and this just brings it back to where we need it so gorgeous amount of colour just helps to lift the face and make the eyes pop I really like that. Now, a bit of brows. Okay, so it's kind of moving me hair a bit. There. Brush. Do the brushing first. Then take the pencil and just fill in any areas that might look a bit too light. Especially now that I've dyed my hair. Just helps to even the eyebrows out a little bit more. Brush brush and done with the eyebrows and now just a little bit of lipstick not too much because I want it to look a bit more natural I want it to match the inside of my lips because when I apply my coverage it transfers to my lips a little bit and it can take the colour away so I had just a touch of lipstick to bring the colour back. Now I build up as I need to. You need a bit of colour to your lips, don't you? Helps your eyes to pop. Gives you colour. Gives you youth. Gives you that youthful glow. Rose pink is ideal for a natural look for me. Always go for the point of red that is closest to your natural lip colour and you will look sparkling and just full of life and energy. See, my eyes are really popping now. I can really see it on, on the camera and I can see it in the mirror, but probably more so on the camera, strangely enough. I'm using my laptop camera because it's the most flattering, I think. built up quite a lot haven't I? I think all the colour has come back to my lips and this is the whole look so now just showing you how it looks didn't take very long just took a bit longer because I'm filming but this it's the natural look and it doesn't look that much different from when I had no makeup on does it? just a bit of mascara a bit of blush, a bit of coverage and just a tiny bit of lipstick so this is the perfect makeup look for if you feel a bit tired or like you want to put on a bit of makeup but you don't want to look like you're wearing any 
this will be perfect for you. Just make sure you choose the right colour for your foundation overtone and eyebrow colour. Make sure you have the right undertone for makeup as well as the intensity. Also make sure you have the right hair colour, the right colour for your clothes and that way you'll be sparkling, look effortlessly youthful and energetic and really well put together. People won't people will not be able to help but notice you in your most natural best self so thank you so much for watching guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new and enjoyed the sounds of the ASMR please subscribe for more content ring the notification bell and I will see you again in the next video please share this video as well take care Bye.